was popping your isha go princess samani sharifa what's up what's popping what's good 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 yo <laughs> shout out to the dynasty that is so back it to your girl shadow what's up babies what's good you are <laughs> so on to this episode my loves we are going to be talking all about you know prayer meditation is so important when you actually don't feel like doing good at times we are you are going to like a lot in your life during a time where there's a lot of you know chaos confusion a lot of crazy negative things going on prayer meditation is so important even when you don't feel like doing it babies so i'm gonna be giving my baby girls fellas some well 100 advice that could really help you out my mom papa so <laughs> Let's go hard. We gonna have way no one into it. Let's get 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 it. Hi, <laughs> y'all. Thank you again for tuning back into your girl channel. What's up, boss? Motherfucking good. Yeah. <laughs> what is popping, babies? What goody? What goody? You are. <laughs> What's up, sweets? So, babies, on to this episode. Like I said, we're gonna be talking all about prayer meditation. And how it's very important, you know, for you to pray meditate even when you feel like you don't want to. During the time we are a lot of shit <coughs> is going on in your life from like a negative aspect, you know. So I really want to talk to my mama, papa about this today and just, you know, really rap with you about like why this is so empowered when you are really going through things and you know like <coughs> you just really don't fall like praying or meditating you know what i'm saying so if you you know subscribe to the dynasty babies you already know something that i am like a wally bug huge advocate is prayer meditation you know what i'm saying you could do one or the other or both and you know prayer meditation babies you know in case you don't know like it's the it's one of the same it's just two different methods of how you really do the valley connect with the lord god the universe the lord the holy spirit the divine most high what i will need mama papa that you want to call god <laughs> Fine by me, my loves, because God got multiple names, you know what I'm But it's basically like two different methods that, you know, you're doing that connects with a lower good. But at the end of the day, when you talk about meditation, it is the form of prayer. When you talk about prayer, clearly it's prayer. But both are spiritual rituals. Both are ways that you divinely connect and communicate with the lower gods. You know what I'm saying? And babies, you are ready. Oh, my loves. If you are a prayer warrior, you know, whether if it's to prayer or meditation, you already know that the lower god will also, my loves, really reveal a lot of shit to you in prayer or meditation. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, babies, I am like a huge, huge advocate on my channel of my bushes my dudes out here making sure that you know you pray regardless of what the hell goes on in your life you need to be praying and that's just what it is like you need to be praying but you know i really wanna really just cook the shirts with you all to be about something that a lot of people go through 
and you know of course not everybody fall like this or you know fall this way or do this or whatever like that of what we're gonna be talking about today but you do have a lot of people babies that while they struggle with queen when they're going through some you know you saying let's fuck the bar shit in their life and it could be a case where it's not that they don't want to plead because oh you ain't saying they don't they ain't fucking with god or anything like that it just really could be where sure they got so much going on that all the shit that's going on is really like distracting them and boggling them down to the point where it's taking them away from seeking the creator during that pivotal time where sure you damn sure need to be praying or moderating then you got other people we are sure they may just not want to pray to a lower god because they feel like because so much nugget of shit is going on in their life that should what's the point of praying to a lower god if he permits it to happen in their life for us like the nugget of shut and i'm gonna tell you baby it's like Shane, we going really going with that because you you know you gotta check yourself you know what i'm saying like you gotta humble yourself sweet who else if you do think like that but we'll get into that hey <laughs> sure like we'll get into that and i'm not so first of all when you are going through things that is very like negative challenging you know what i'm saying just really just overall negative you know Something to really keep in mind when you're going through things like that, mama, papa, is that you are literally going through spiritual warfare in that moment. You know? Now, some of y'all may already be familiar with this term of like spiritual warfare and what it means and things like that, and the others of y'all may not. But essentially, spiritual warfare is like your lower version of yourself and your higher version of self. You know what I'm saying? At war. So, the lower version of self, my mom, papa, is directly tied to Satan's energy. You know? The higher version of self is directly tied to a lower than the universe energy. So when you're going through shit that's very negative and challenging and you know what I'm saying, all types of queasy and chaotic and that woman, Satan's allergy is present. And Satan motherfucking ass is going to want you to be pulled more and more and more and more towards that negative low vibrational fuck ass allergy. Because the more you get pulled towards that, the further you will get away from a lower god's energy. Oh, poia. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing you have to really keep in mind when you are being tried in that kind of way where you're going through things that we nugget of baby girls, fellas, because you are being tested in that moment by a lower god, but you're being tempted by Satan's energy to fall lower and lower at your vibration so you can feed more into that negative energy, babies. And the way you feed onto it is by giving it more of your energy and attention and doing self-destructive behaviors during that moment all because you're going through something negative. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, you know, my mom, papa, loves mom. That's not all no cliche shit. That ain't no no girl. You know, you be a my spooky, you know, to my baby girls or fellas. You think it like such, you know, like, that shit sound my spooky sound. You know, like, well, cliche, like, hell no. That's not all no cliche spooky shit. That's what's a well G shit. You have to know that everything in life involves spiritual warfare. Because in this life, you're meant to be tested. So, when you go through things negative in your life, that's a form of a test. And I've talked about this on my channel, like, actually done um, an episode talking about, like, you know, trials are very necessary when you're in the process of, like, manifestation and shit like that. I'm going to link that episode in the description box below, my loves. 
you know definitely tune on to it if you have not heard the episode yet because i really go more into full details on why a lower god actually permits trials to be unexistent when you are manifesting and understand manifestation is something that you know you do rather if you're consciously aware of it or know it you know what i'm saying so definitely tune into that episode babies but i say all that to say my loves because when you're going through that spiritual warfare that negative lower version of yourself is was pretty much trying to tempt you to not pray to not meditate to not talk to a lower god to push him to the side to get upset with him to feel like that he's not doing his part to feel like that he's not doing you know what i'm saying he's supposed to be doing when in actuality that's for from the motherfucking truth hey <laughs> shane like we gotta you know like we gotta cool that shit out right now my girl my dude that's for from the motherfucking truth but the fact of the matter is in life you're going to go through hard times no matter what kind of level it's on or what kind of vibration is on a lower god is going to touch you he's gonna touch you he's gonna touch you babies so it's like when you're helping those negative ass thoughts during the time period where you're going through a lot of negative bullshit, you have to keep on mind and remind yourself, baby girls, fellas, that those negative ass motherfucking thoughts, that's not coming from a lower God's energy. That's coming from motherfucking Satan's energy. And he's trying to tempt you to believe onto those negative thoughts so that way your vibration will go lower and lower and lower. You know? So why is that so important to keep in mind? Hmm? You know, like, why is that so important to keep in mind? Well, what the fuck are we talking about today? We talking about, mama, papa, you praying about when you don't feel like God. So naturally, when you're going to shut that nugget off, and you are already expounding so much chaos on that woman, it could put you in the energy where you just don't feel like praying for whatever reason of us. You know what I'm saying? But when you fall that way, why are you falling that way? Mm. Why are you falling that way? Is that coming from a lower God telling you don't pray to me? Or is that coming from what we just talked about? Where it's coming from the energy. Really trying to influence you not to be to your father. So which one are you going to feed onto? <laughs> like which you know, like what plate you gonna eat or from? Are you going to eat or from a lower good energy? Or are you going to feed yourself off a sea energy? Because when you feel that type of energy, sweetheart, where you don't feel like clean. Or meditating or doing both that seat and energy trying to pull you closer to him to the point where you just don't play at all. Even when you're going to go to a bar, you just don't play at all. You hear what I'm saying? So, which one are you going to take? Which bite out of the motherfucking food are you going to take? Which apple are you going to eat? You know what I'm saying? You gotta really ask yourself that in that moment. Because I'ma tell you right now. Say a motherfucking ass wants you to take a bite out of his apple. So that way you don't play or meditate during the time where it's required more than ever when you going through nugget of shut. Here's the reality, my loves. And I'm going to keep it a being with you. I'm going to keep it well, well. Because at the end of the day, nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's perfect, sweetheart. And something that I'm always telling my baby girls, fellas, on my channel is that, you know, a Lord God, he do not expect for you to be a perfect little person that never makes a mistake. 
you don't expect that because we don't love and a perfect wow that's not how this dimension for the hour that we're currently on was designed you know what i'm saying but what i know and what that believe requires and it sparks out of you mama or papa is for you to be very genuine when you have a relationship with him and your higher self to be very consistent with your relationship with him and your higher self and to strive for excellence in all areas of your life babies and when you do that when you practice that and you put those things into play that's how you're going to go elevate and change your son as a person to becoming like a better version of yourself but it will happen over the right time it's not going to happen like shit over motherfucking night hey <laughs> shane like it's not going to do that you know what i'm saying it's going to happen over the right timing so i'm not saying baby girls fellas that you're going to be perfect but you have to hold yourself accountable to make an effort towards your creator during the times where you really don't fucking fall like seeing a damn thing hey <laughs> shane and i'll be a dead ass for one like that's you that's you like that's the truth of the situation and just keeping in the whole stack with you all or whatever like that like sometimes babies you could be going through something so crazy so life-changing so negative so just boggled down or maybe you just like you've been going through something for like the longest and you just want to fucking break you just loudly fall like, yo, like, yo, yo, can I get a motherfucking break, yo, like, can I get a break? Because <laughs> you may be at a time in your life where shit, you got her shit back to back to back to back. Well, you got these so many tusks, but all the tusks are negative. None of them bitches is really positive for well, for well. Majority of the big tusks, the negative. And you're going through that. You know what I'm saying? So it could naturally produce that emotion within you. Where you're like, yo, I just need a fucking break. Shit just way too much. You know what I'm saying? And when you feeling all those emotions. Because you're going through so much negative shit. You may really not even have the words to speak and clear what you really want to speak from the hood because you just it's like you're all over the place and i'm gonna tell you for my mama and papas that fall like that that has really been on situations like that we are you just you just literally you it's like almost like somebody zipped your mouth shut we are as like nothing's coming out of it when you're in prayer because <laughs> or like nothing's coming out of it for you to say prayer so it could be like we are you know you want to pray but you don't even have like the words or what to pray about because you feel so just boggled down by like everything that's going on that's nugget up so during that time babies that's the time power we are i like to call it you just gotta pray and say the few words that you do have and i'm just be a dead ass for wow so what do i mean by that so like you know baby girls fellas like we already explained like you you literally don't have the words you 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 know like it's so much going on you don't even have the right words while you see in that moment so you know what you can see babies you know what you can say to your father you can literally just keep it a big one and tell her like yo father aloha go out the lord the holy spirit the divine the most high like i said you know whatever need you feel comfortable or call him and prayer that's your business because god has multiple needs you know what i'm saying but you can literally just call on your father like yo you know i'm feeling so many crazy things right now father because all this negative stuff is going on i don't even know what to say in prayer right now 
I, it's so much going on for that. It's so much negative things. I, I really don't even have the words to see, and I'm sorry that I don't, but I, I just don't. But what I will pray for, I pray that you give me strength to get through it. I pray that you give me faith to get through it. I pray that you give me resilience to get through it. I pray that you keep me focused. I pray that you know you 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 somehow make a way. Like you could say little things like that, babies, and your prayer. And you have to understand that when you are speaking that well, that genuine, that authentic, you gotta know that God feel that shit for well. You know what I'm saying? Like a Lord God knows one. You are being your realest, authentic version of yourself. And the truth is, is that shit, sometimes motherfuckers go through some real ass shit to the point where you don't even have the words to see and pray because you're going through so much. So it's just like your mind is just all over the place, but you know you still want to talk to your father because you got to. You got to check him with him at the end of the day. You have to. He will make the shit better anyway. Even though he's testing you on that moment, you have to understand, babies. A lower God testing you is because at the end of the day, he loves you. When he's testing you because he wants to make you stronger, better, more fearless, more powerful, more bazillion, it's because he loves you and he got motherfucking purpose for your eyes. So I know even though in that moment you don't feel that way, for whoever, you know, this this wasn't these four because you struggle with that, my loves, you have to know that's really the truth. And that negative ass, fuck ass, low vibrational energy of Satan trying to make you feel like that he don't love you and he don't fuck with you. And he, you know, like, if he loved you, why is he promoting this or that? Nah, you can't pay attention to that shit, my nigga. Because at the end of the day, like I said, we don't love on a poor fuck ass world. So you're going to go through that duality. Of good life experiences and negative life experiences. And that episode that I mentioned earlier, I go further into detail about that. So again, if you have not tuned into the episode that I was referencing earlier, tune into it, babies. But you can't paint this unrealistic picture in your mind that, you know, God is some bubblegum person that is not going to touch your eyes. Nah, that's not the truth my girl, my dude. And I'm sorry if a motherfucker out here told you that I was because it's not. <laughs> He's not like that. He going to touch you. That's how we gonna make you stronger. So sometimes when you're being, you know, under the fire like that where you are going through some negative shit and you really may not vocally have the words to see to him so you gotta just see like what few words that he puts on your heart and those few words very much so could be things like i love you for the i just i don't even know what to say right now other than you know i thank you for today i pray that you make a brother i pray you give me strength Please bless me to stay connected to you. Please bless the situation a good brother. I, I, I don't really know what to say. Let me tell you, you are. And this was some well ass shit. Like, Bali listen to a bush. For a while, like, Bali listen to me, my mom, papa. Nobody knows your heart. Better than the creator that created you. Mm. I'm going to say that shit one more time. But my girls and my dudes in the back that they heard you grow. <laughs> Nobody knows your heart. Better than your creator that has created you. So when he sees that you are going through all of what you're going through. And yes, it's, you know, like, it's, it's really in that moment, it could be affecting you because you're going through so much. 
but he sees in that day you took the time to still chuck on what hum still say a prayer even if it was just a few words but you just let him know you you just well with him you just was honest with him that you ain't really had the words but you you coming to him because you love him and you need strength right now you know what that tells him that tells him that you really do believe in him and that tells him that despite what you're going through you're willing to have your feet built up because see that's how a motherfucker's feet gets built stronger and stronger while even when they go through some fuck up our shit my nigga and even though they're going through all of that they may and they may not even have the words while you deplete because spiritually and mentally and emotionally and psychologically and energetically they are just so fed the fuck up with going through shit but they still babies they still take the time to speak to that creator and they still say you know I like even though I don't got all the words to see I'm gonna say something to my father I'm gonna say something even if it's just yo I love you I don't have all the words to say right now I know all I could see is please give me strength father to get through this you know and then they and that's it that. seeing something as bad as the nothing baby gout fellas and that's what i'm really trying to get you to see single what you are not going to be poor the only person that is poor <laughs> is a lower god that's the only person that's poor a lower god himself the lower the holy power that's that and that's just what it is He is the only person that's perfect. You're not perfect, babies. Nobody's perfect. But you still have to hold yourself accountable, my loves, to talk to him when you are going through some shit that really, really do, you know, challenge your faith and that woman, and that's really testing how much you say you really love her. Your faith gets stronger. Your bazillions get deeper, deeper than you when you still take the time to speak to him about what's going on. Of course, if you say a well long prayer, that's even better. But if you ain't got the words to say that, understand seeing something from your heart, no matter what it does, it don't only have to be the things that I just said. It could be anything. that a lua gua puts within your heart to see in that moment seeing those things is better than not seeing nothing that ua don't motherfucking love see and take you away from a lua gua don't let that fuck ass pussy ass whack ass low vibrational energy from see and pull you away from a lua gua cuz you got a nose we who as like we talked about earlier You're going to start your warfare when you have nugget of shit coming in your life or types of crazy. So you got to speak to your father. Even if it's just a few words, you still got to chuck on with him. Because it's going to be him, baby. That see you do it. It's going to be him that guide you do it. It's going to be him that gives you the ideas, the the intuition feelings, the intuition downloads, the gut feelings. He's going to provide the signs, the secret dance of these, the what to do to get the fuck up out of the position that you're going on. It's going to be him, babies. So that's who you have to be. You have to feed the higher version of self. That's directly connected to a lower God. So a lower God can see that, okay, my son, my daughter, they want butter. So let me, let me help the situation. And whatever kind of way that a lower God helps them. But he'll see that 
you are being genuine and authentic and he will guide you out of that situation in divine timing it may not happen right the week sweet what it may not happen right the week it may take some time it may happen right the week it just wally depends on what a lord god has predestined in your leg journey but you have to know that it might not happen that week and you still have to be patient and you still have to still chuck on with the lower gods that's part of being a believer don't think just because you believe in god's sweet words that oh hey say shit over your life power just gonna be rainbows and sunshine and surely when you bring your modesty to a poof everything's both no it don't work like that see it's Yes, he may answer your prayers by the way. Then others, he may not. He ain't saying. Because it may be a poor of that journey and that season that he has you on. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust the process, my loves. You got to trust the process. But the biggest thing of it all is when you're going through those, you know, those powers, those hours of your life that is very challenging and it's very negative. You got to pray when you don't fall like God. And whether that's a long prayer, a short prayer, just a few words, whatever. But you need to pray and you need to talk to him. As long as your prayer is respectful, that's the most important thing. Don't go praying to a little go up being disrespectful. Let's tell this shit like that. I will not recommend that shit, babies. Because you ain't going to get nowhere. <laughs> being that way, you can express how you feel to a little go up without being disrespectful. And you need to know that. Because a lot of motherfuckers get that shit well fucked up. You all got the game fucked up. And you think that that shit is okay because it's not. It's okay to ask a lower goal question if you don't understand things. It's okay to be well and be your most authentic, genuine self. That's what he wants at the end of the day. But you be respectful and you be humble when you're coming to him. Because he is your creator. And just like he created you, Bush might do, he can motherfucking end you too. <laughs> don't get it fucked up. So you have to be humble always when you're going to the almighty that created you. Don't allow this motherfucking world to tell you that it's okay to, you know, call on God being disrespectful as fuck. Because I'ma tell you, you ain't gonna do shit but manifest some poor shit karma on that ass. Humble yourself and know that when you go to him you go to him but you be respectful when doing God so babies I hope this helps my loves <laughs> I hope this hope this hope this hope this helps mama papa trust me babies I understand how you feel you know and that's why I really wanted to, you know, just like really keep it a bang, keep it well and shit like that. I really talk to you all about us today because a lot of people go through this. A lot of people go through this. And you have to really just understand me what it's a test and that moment of if you're still going to commit to, you know, seeking that relationship with your father or if you're just going to like say fuck it. And just, you know, got into the harbor of late, never playing when shit goes wrong. Again, like I said earlier, babies, you should be playing or meditating or doing both. Like I said, about the like you pray or you meditate, you do both, either or whatever. But you should be doing that on a regular basis. You should not only be doing that when shit is going right in your life. And you should not be only doing that when shit is going wrong in your life. You should be praying, meditating regularly. Every single day. You should be doing that. You know, like if you're the kind of person where you pray every day but you don't meditate every day. Okay, whatever. But you're praying. That's the most important thing. 
if you're the kind of person where you rather do meditation, you know, over like doing the formal prayer and that's every single day, okay. Let me tell you a guy. Meditation is a form of prayer. That's a form of prayer. That is a prayer. That's a, a style of prayer at the end of the day. If you the kind of person where you do both, prayer or meditation, both, every single day, okay. But the point is, is that you need to be doing some form of your spiritual ritual practice every single day. And that entails a prayer or meditation or doing both. So whichever one that you know you do, baby, is that support you and a lower gods because everybody, you know, has like different belief systems and denominations and shit like that that they follow when it comes to like the spiritual journey. So yeah, shit like my girl might do do what a lower god guide you to do in your own life, but just make sure that you're talking to a lower. Meaning, make sure you talk to your father, your creator that created you. Don't skimp out on that shit. Especially when you're going through something. I understand, babies. It's hard. It's hard when you got a lot of shit being thrown at you. And you ain't saying. You just, you, you didn't see so a shit coming. Or you been in a certain cycle for a long time. But that's the time more than ever, sweet. You gotta talk to them. And I'm gonna tell you this, babies. If you do... You know, do like what we kind of talked about today. We is like, even up, like, let's see, you don't have all the words to do like a full, big old, drunk, long out prayer or whatever like that. And you do like a short prayer, right? You know, but it's that prayer is so authentic and real to how you feel in that moment for why you're saying it to your father. Even if you do that, right? That's okay. Like we already talked about sweets. But make sure that you're not getting into a habit of barely ever seeing anything too. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like let me let me let me you know like really elaborate on that. So like we said, you're going to have moments where you just don't have the words to see. Uh, you know, because you're going through so much in that moment, so you just see what, whatever a Lua Goa puts on your mind that's very authentic to how you feel, right? Okay, but that's okay. But don't make that like an actual consistent pattern of how you say prayer or meditation in general. Meaning, like every single day you show him on the prayer. Because then at that point, it's not coming from a place of like you really just genuinely you don't have the words in that woman so you're just seeing what's on your hearts you know but because you still want to connect with them but no it's then coming from a place when you do it like every single day you make that like a ritual for you of like how you communicate with your creator then at that point that's just really the type of shit you moving on my nigga Hey, <laughs> she ain't just keeping it a being with you. I mean, like, you know, like, that's the kind of lane you driving on. That's just, like, what you're doing. And it's coming from, like, an aspect where you ain't got time for him. So you push him to the side, say a little something, and then that's that. No, you don't want to get to that point either, my loves. I put out there that you say what's on your heart, even if it's just a few words, what you really feel like. That's all you could really do in that moment because that's all the Lord puts on your heart to do. So that's coming from a genuine authentic peace because you literally don't have the words. But don't make it a ritual where every single day you treating your father, that you treating the Lord like that because you gotta know, babies, a Lord God, what did we see earlier? He knows your heart. He knows your whole sweetheart. He knows your mind. He knows your thoughts. He knows the words that you're going to speak. He knows everything before you do it. So he is full of weird. 
if your body being genuine and authentic, or if you just body don't feel like you got time for his ass. Period. So you gotta be careful with that. Because let me tell you, Satan will literally try to make a loophole to that we as well. Because it's a form of a destruction to get you to like stop being in that type of other G where you really don't stay too much at all in prayer. You know, and, and that's just like what you do on a regular consistent basis. Like, no, you don't want to get like that sweet. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be like that we mindful of that mama and papa when you are praying or meditating. Things are going to get better for you. But it will happen in divine time. And that's the tough part about when you're going to things that may be bad with negative. As walking by that feet and not by sight of what you're seeing at that moment. But you got to like speak your life over yourself and you have to stay connected to your creator. During the time where you really just don't feel like praying. You know what I'm saying? You have to stay connected to her. Like I said, babies, don't take on that approach of getting mad with a new good and then feeling like well he ain't doing nothing anyway so why should I pray I lost one you take that motherfucking the pooch if you want to <laughs> you go right ahead and do that but you gotta motherfucking know that's the chuck bush my dude you're not going to be able to cash meaning that you're going to get sent more negative shit in your life when you think that you can cross the very good that created your motherfucking ass. Again, life is not perfect, sweets. You're gonna go through things. And if a new God is, you know, permitting certain things to occur in your life to challenge you so that way you can go on to becoming a better person, that means he ain't done with your ass yet. Power so don't get mad at him for it, but instead try to seek and gain more clarity about why the hell is going God. You know what I'm saying? But don't take that approach. Because you're not going to get for a being that way. All you're going to do is manifest more badass karma in your life. Because that's the type of energy you constantly putting out to the universe. Y'all already know, like... If you subscribe to the Dynasty, you know we talk a lot about that on this channel as well, about energy being real. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta watch the motherfucker energy that you put out to the universe. Because trust me, a lure go a see and know all that shit. So don't take that approach, my loves. I know it's who I'm not trying to shoot you or, or anything that you're going through. And I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, undermine the type of trial or tribulations that you're under hell no you know that's why i get that shit well straight with you what shit ain't gonna be perfect yeah you gonna have times where you just don't have the words to see but that's the time where you gotta know you you really being challenged done hey <laughs> shane and you gotta really shut that damn devil up that's trying to lay conventional eyes not to really talk to your creator and you gotta still check on with him with some well eyes shut and that's just you know like that's the facts of the situation or what goes on from the spiritual level that's what's going on spiritually that you me consciously or not consciously be aware of that you got that motherfucking satan's allergy trying to combat the god energy you know what i'm saying so know that a lot go less within you sweet words and that's always more powerful than the low vibrational force that tries to take over you but it really depends on if you are going to see that power god's power within you and if you're going to feed that side of this power or are you going to let the low vibrational force take over? You got to ask yourself, what the hell do you want to do, babies? You know? At the end of the day, I always say, my mom and papa, ain't nobody going to take care of you. But a done, a logo of the universe and yourself. 
care with you. You got to take care with yourself. And poor that you taking care with yourself is you chucking gum with the poor son that created you in the first place. Power you. So, babies, understand. You're bigger than what you're going through. You're going to beat what you're going through by the grace of a Lord who was. And you're going to extend past the this, this, this shit that you, you dealing with right now. But don't ever feel like that. You have to stop talking to the Bowie man that's going to get you through those challenging times of what you're going through. So I love you, babies. <laughs> love you, love you, love you, sweet one. So, 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 so much. Please like this video. So that way, our channel can continue to grow. Comment below, my loves. Let me know, is this your situation? Like, is this something that you are calling expounding, babies? Or is this something that you actually struggled with in the past? But, you know, like, by the grace of a Lord God, you kind of was able to get past it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely let me know. And even if you are struggling with that, you know, it's like... He ain't saying no judgment, you know what I'm saying? Oh God, nobody is perfect, baby. So let me know. Make sure you subscribe, become a part of the dynasty, hit that notification bell so you are updated when I post my next topic. Check out the playlist too. I have so many topics in here that you can really bother for fuck. You know, so definitely check it out, Mama Papa. Pretty soon, I'm going to be having a lot of new stories that got introduced to the channel. These will actually be new stories that you can actually watch. Not only <laughs> just listen to through the podcast, so definitely stay tuned, babies, because it's gonna be like a lot of different things, a lot of variety of different things on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram. My Instagram name is what on my screen. Check the description box below. I have other social media platforms down there as well, baby. So make sure <laughs> you go ahead <laughs> and follow your girl. Because I would love to have you about a princess money. So we dynasty. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> but until next time babies <laughs> peace love and light always Mwah. later